Jürgen, at the end of last season, you said you didn't want to sort of think about football too much. It's been <laughs> such a tough season last yeah. season. Over the summer, did you still have real belief that this team could still be in a position where it is right now, fighting for the biggest trophies? Not sure if I thought that far, but I knew that we will play a better season. So that was clear. Um, we brought in Ivo Kunate and it would um, end all centre halves. <laughs> was clear they came back for, for pre season, during pre season. Joe, I think, Joel and Birch started with us, and Joe came in a week later. A bit later, um, Ivo started with us, and then it was clear we have, we have a really good we have a really good football team. We, we, we achieved uh, something in the last season which I consider as the, some of the most special things I ever achieved in my career because I didn't see it coming with all the problems we had, and so it was absolutely great. Yes, we know we will be better, but um, that you will stay be in all for in two finals and <laughs> in the semi final of the Champions League. Um, no, of course not, but uh, we take it like it is. Well, you mentioned what you're going for, and there's obviously a chance that Liverpool could win four trophies this season. You deal with that really well. You were asked about it a lot. What is the sort of message to your own players? You have to reiterate that to them, that we don't think about this, or are they in a position where they just focus on the next game? I'm blessed with a very smart football team. They know it's... Um, so there is a possibility, because we are in the two finals, we are in the Champions League semis, and um, one point behind the leader in the Premier League, so that's a possibility. But then you... Um, if you look at it as a whole and you see then okay, then now it's actually not possible. So um, and then you don't have to care about it. We don't. We really we really go game by game. And that's the only way I understand it. Because if you think now about our opponents we have in the Premier League, you think how can we if we win so we have to win, it looks like all the the, 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 the games in the Premier League. If we do that from the 19 games then in the second part of the season we would have won 17 and drawn two, Chelsea and City if I'm right. Can, who can think <laughs> about something like that? It's 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 completely crazy. So, but the, the, if you really think like that, then it's then it makes it really unlikely. So that's why we don't do it. Easy. We just um, are really focused on the next game, and that's and that's not that complicated because the the, the challenges are massive. We are facing. We played. Uh, we play now at the weekend. We play Everton with their own um, obviously um, needs and targets and stuff like this. It was never an easy game and will not be an easy game and all these kind of things. After that, we sleep twice, I think, and then we <laughs> play with Real and then it's uh, Newcastle and then all these kind of things. So it's, 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 it's brutal. But it's fine. It's the best situation you can have. Um, and that's why we enjoy it as well. But not with the big things in, 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 our, in our mind. Just go for the next one and try to be, play the best football you, you can. Your last Premier League outing, you beat Manchester United 4-0. And there's a lot of talk and criticism of Manchester United. They've now just announced a, a new manager. But do you think it would have been difficult for any team to cope with your team, certainly in that first 45 minutes? Yes, it would have, because we were really good. That's true. But um, we should not forget that it, it's like that. I, I know it's now maybe for, for United fans especially or for people who are interested in football in general, a bit too long that United is, is not exactly the United people would expect. But in this situation, the moment it was really difficult for United to come here. It's it's, it's one of these situations you had probably in your career as well. It's not going really well, and then you look in the schedule. Oh my God! And now we have to go there. So that was not that was not a, a, a perfect uh, setup for 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 United, obviously. Yes, and, and and we are in a in a good moment. Let me say we were because we have to prove it again on the weekend. But um, and that's why it was really was really difficult for them. But then uh, we all know. And um, the first good news, I think, for, for United people are that Eric Ten Hag um, agreed now, I don't know how long, um, a contract and the, the sort of future starts now already, but they have to get through this season as well. So um, this it's really, it's it's hard. Huh? It's really hard, I can imagine. And I know obviously Ralf Rangnick and um, so it's, it's it, I don't know how it sounds when you when when the, when the manager of Liverpool says I feel a little bit for him, but it, it's it's like that because I, I can understand it's really difficult. You go to Liverpool, you know we are they are really good, and you know okay we have actually no defensive midfielder. That's not good news. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not cool, and um, uh, that's the the situation they're in. But um, that's not more. 
I'm not interested in gulfs or, or distances between us and them. I know we go there next year and they have then the results from last year in mind and it makes it even more difficult when we arrive there, all these kind of things. But for the moment it's like it is and, and we are obviously happy with our situation and they will sort their situation. Your team's on a brilliant run at the moment. Uh, gone a long time, obviously, uh, without defeat, certainly in, in, in the Premier League. And your last two performances against Manchester City in the FA Cup and, and Manchester United. I think before that you've been, a lot of the time, maybe getting the job done. It felt to me in the last couple of games that real energy and, and pressing, certainly in the first half, winning the ball back quickly. It, do you think there was slightly something different? You know, you think of Mo coming back, re-energised maybe? Uh, yeah, that helps a lot, and Mo and Sadio, when they got their, 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 their real legs back, let mm. me say like this, because they are they were not in a bad moment, but they, of course, the January was in, in, insane for them, it was, and for Nabi as well. Um, and that's why we try to, to get them through, leave them out here, uh, give them a rest there, and all these kind of things in, a, in, a, in a, a schedule which actually don't give you any kind of break. Yes, and I, I saw it before the City game. Honestly, it was, was obvious. All of a sudden, it looked like, phew, yeah. like somebody um, um, and took the break away. And um, that, was, that was absolutely very helpful. Apart from that, it's, it's all about opponents as well. You, you, we cannot high press against an opponent who is just kicking long balls. Um, where do we want to do that? Um, and these kind of things. So the opponents fit then that a little bit. But yes, it's clear as well. We are um, physically in a good moment. Um, and that's how it always was. When you go through the really tough December and January, then February is historically here a little bit. And sometimes you go into March where you can still see it. Yeah, it's, it's really hard. But and we never had a situation like this year where we could um, yeah, use so that many players, to be honest. It's um, incredible. That, uh, we, we, we changed some in the medical department last year. We, we, we physio, we brought in Andreas Schlumberger, uh, who is now head of rehab. We, we, Mona Nemmer, another physio, um, is a manual therapist, which helps a lot. And so the little things, the little details, and keeps the boys maybe, and, and we, we need luck as well. Um, but that's a situation and that's what we try to ha try to use. It's the only reason for why we are still in all competitions because otherwise um, you have no chance. When we, the, we changed a lot in the cup competitions in, in, mm. in the games we played, but the teams were always <laughs> still really strong. Uh, so that is normal that you go far, then you don't have to go to the final. The League Cup, it was semi-final Arsenal, that's not easy. Um, and we, we had our problems um, in, at Nottingham, to be honest, um, and obviously problems against City as well, that's normal. So you need luck in these situations as well, but um, here we are, we enjoy it and let's see where we can end up. Midweek you played before City and at the weekend City will play before Liverpool. That's not a do, problem. Do, do, you, do you watch City when they're on TV? No, so not, not really. So when we, only around when we play I watch them. till it goes 1-0. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I did it the last time, really, in a similar situation when they played Leicester. And that was, uh, you know, when uh, company... I hate Sky for the fact that they still have this goal in, 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 some, in some, uh, trailers or whatever. I really think that's now... We I'll watched have a it, We watched it long enough. <laughs> um, that was one of the hardest moments of my life. Um, and I, I still know exactly what I thought before, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Madison was tired. <laughs> and I thought, Brendan, come on. Sub him, and it was exactly <laughs> it was exactly the area where company fires the ball. Uh, so, um, no, but that was pretty much the last time when I had a situation like that. And you have to learn from your mistakes in life. Eh? So I will not do that. And the, but this playing before and after, we, we know the situation exactly. We have to win anyway. So what, mm. what, where can it increase the pressure? For City, it's pretty similar. Mm. Um, they might hope. I'm not sure we, we lose here or there, which is still obviously possible. Come on, the, the opponents we have is crazy. Um, and Tottenham fighting for Champions League and, and, and these kind of things. So it will be really tough, a really tough run in, but that's fine. No, but um, I don't think they are too bothered if we play before and we are not too bothered if they play before us. Merseyside derby next. Frank Lampard is, is manager now of, of Everton. He's managed at the top with Chelsea. He's now sort of obviously fighting for Everton near the bottom. I think you, you've maybe been there with, with minds as well. Is there a different type of pressure as a manager at the different sort of levels of, of the league? It is, definitely. It, uh, the, the, 
So it's a, a good thing in it as well. So if you fight for staying in the league, the opponents don't win all the time as well. So you, you can expect they will lose. If you lose, it's, it's not good, but the others will probably lose as well. So that's the only good thing about it, that all the rest is really not cool and the, the, the pressure is immense. I, can, I, I, I still can feel that, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but it's, um, it's tough to me. I have to say, I, I really thought that Frank did a really good job at Chelsea. Mm. I liked how they played, I, but Chelsea at the time, club with massive expectations, so you can be first, second, third, and all of a sudden you still, if you don't win the Champions League or whatever, with, um, with the old ownership, uh, you were out of the job. And, um, so, and Thomas obviously came there and, and, and it was a good decision for Chelsea, but I really liked what, what Frank did at Chelsea. Um, and now Everton is obviously in a, in a difficult situation, that's how it is. But you, you know it better than I do. Um, you, these games have nothing to do with the table, really. Um, it's, it's always uh, intense. For me, it was in, at times too intense. Uh, maybe the way you played the derbies is the reason for how <laughs> they played still. So um, not only you personally, but I, I remember couple of red cards from Steven Gerrard. Yeah. Uh, we were never close to get them. They should have had a few more, if, if, if you ask me. So, but it's, um, uh, it's a, a great game, um, honestly, and I hope they stay in the league, obviously, because uh, the, the Merseyside derby should, should be um, always on the, on the fixture list. Um, but in my... Um, so so you, you would miss the derby if Everton were to go down, you'd like Everton to stay up because of that reason? We played a lot of derbies I would not miss, to be honest, because I really think there are over the, there are moments where over the top. Honestly, it's it's for me. I, I like physical football. I like all these kind of things, but you have to respect that the other guy has to play next week as well. And there were moments when we had that the, the one game. It was not only with Pickford and then Richardson on on Thiago. As not that's too much. Physicality, yes. Um, aggression, legal aggression, yes, of course. That's what I love. If that would have been allowed, I could have played one game in football. Um, but respecting the rules, if that's fine, and I love the derby. That's how it is. That's how the intensity, every, everything is like. Um, no other subject in the city, usually, which is fine. Um, you don't. You talk three days before, three days after, maybe a week before, maybe a week after. Depends to the other fixtures. This week was difficult because we played United before. But um, yeah, no, no, I love it. But um, just as a really intense but normal football game. The crowd's back. Obviously, it wasn't there last season uh, when we lost to to Everton. But the crowd's back now, and you know the atmosphere's back. It's building this season. What are your thoughts on the new Jurgen Klopp song? <coughs> it's, I love the song. I really love it. <laughs> to be honest, it's, uh, my, that my name is in. I'm not one hundred percent sure about. I love the song. Um, I even have it in my in German. We call that uh, ear warm. We don't get it out. It's like wow, well, and, and they have that a little bit. Um, I my taste we sing it a little bit too often, so mm. maybe I don't like this kind of attention. Is your too wife much. singing it at Manchester City? Definitely, <laughs> definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. My my, 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 voice love it as well. So it's cool. It's an honor as well. I, it's a Beatles song. Come on, what can you do more? Um, I like the boys, the, the the players sang it in the bus, but they put in Joel. That's oh, okay. really. I'm so glad Joel is red. I'm really happy that uh, glad that Joel is red as well. Um, so. Um, it's, a re it's a good one, but I think after a while we will, there will come other songs and then it's, um, they mix it up a bit more, but it was like, <laughs> it was a lot in the last game, to be honest. Um, and I don't understand the lyrics, obviously, all the time. Now I know the lyrics, and so now you heard the sound, and you know it's that song, okay. Again, yeah, nice, but it's, it's, it's an honour and it's, it's a cool one. Last one, favourite Merseyside derby memory at Anfield? Yeah, it's easy. <laughs> they will go Rigi. They will go Rigi. So we had, thankfully, we had, um, oh, thank God we had a few, but that was a very, very special, special moment. And, and, and I really loved how Marco took it because I didn't want to be disrespectful. Not at all. He just couldn't hold myself. So, bam, I was gone, and um, the goal was really special. Um, it would not be bad if he could make the decision slightly earlier. It was pretty late in the game, and I would. <laughs> Would really like that we that the, 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 the scoreline um, would be different and earlier and still we could win the game. But apart from that, I take what I get and um, hopefully we can win the game. Okay, Jürgen, good luck. Thank you very much.